see a five year old child give her a doll she becomes a mother immediately that vatsalya is outpouring she fondles that doll she dresses the doll she loves it kisses it feeds it puts it to sleep she holds it to her bosom and goes around see how she celebrates that isn't that not vatsalya as we grow up we learn it in our family life we extend our vatsalya to our husbands uh, it's very nice when i got married i was uh, just uh, reading the vivaha mantras one of the mantras is so beautiful when the bride is welcomed into the in-laws house there's a rigvedic mantra which says you become the mother of 10 and treat your husband as your 11th son so her vatsalya is so uh, expanded she grows as a mother and that becomes her shakti so a mother is not afraid of anybody nobody teases a mother nobody winks at a mother she is not a fanciful thing she is looked up with dignity and respect so next slide when the motherhood is realized in the woman she becomes really empowered i'd like to take two examples set of examples from our puranas or our indian tradition of the empowered woman if you think empowerment is just giving her some degrees uh, enabling her to earn some money and have her way dress as she likes go where she wants and do what she wants that is also empowerment according to us okay for that we have the apsaras model she is very empowered she is beautiful she is brainy she is skilled etc you have uh, rambha urvashi tilottama and all those uh, people but they are sensuous they limit their smartness and beauty and all their prowess to just physical beauty they want to enamor people they want to distract people they want to spoil the tapasya of somebody you know when apsaras come in our stories when somebody is doing tapasya immediately apsaras come there to spoil the tapasya then you have the other model of the shakti swarupini the yoga the yogini not the bhogini but the yogini that is the shakti ma you have lakshmi saraswati parvati here also you have beauty you have brains you have skill you have valor you have leadership you have all those dynamic qualities that empowered women characters sita savitri draupadi and our own sharda devi our own andal our own jhansi rani lakshmi bai kittu rani chennamma india is full of such empowered women but the difference is they are motherly they love the people they nourish people they support people they come to bless a tapasvi not to spoil the tapasya of a tapasvi that is a major difference the other side the apsaras are used and thrown because once their youth diminishes once their uh, beauty diminishes their work is over and they have betrayed so many people fooled so many people finally nobody believes in them they are lonely they, are, they have an emotional void they are not spiritually connected but you come here they are ageless even if she is 90 years old a woman like this is looked upon she is beautiful because of her personality not just her person so these are the beautiful two role models we have uh, they are teaching us about how to be empowered and how to use your empowerment i think today's bharatiya nari of course we are empowered we have always been empowered you see the freedom struggle there have been so many women who are a part of it when in europe in the pre renaissance period there was not a single queen we see in the roads most of the queens were the nail polish beauties lying on a couch but here in india you want the example of the oldest queen who rode horses who faced enemies who fought with men at par you want spice in chanakya sartashastra you have so many women spice you want queens you have you want warriors you want spice you want yoginis you want uh, poetesses you have those examples but the beauty of all this is with all that if they were the apsara type they were forgotten and if they were the yogini type they are celebrated we celebrate these yoginis so today's indian there are so many girls out here let's understand that we have to celebrate the motherhood in us the yoga in us connect to yourself if you are empowered use it for a good cause use it to sustain not to destroy so this is